Okay, so part motherfucking three. <laughs> part three to this story time rant video. Welcome back. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel and to this video. Thank you for tuning in for the third time for this shenanigans that has been going on so far since I transferred down here to Atlanta. Um, let's just hop right into it. And don't get on me about my sweater because I most definitely filmed all three parts back to back. Um, like as a whole rant, I just split the video up. So I'm not out here just wearing the same sweater three days in a row. Like, don't do me, okay? Um, but nonetheless, let's get into this video. So we're gonna fast forward right um i think we had left off in part two with the load that i had taken um on my first off day which was thursday last yeah thursday last week and they wasn't trying to pay me my miles it was messing with my money right so today is as i'm filming this video it is july 26th so Tuesday night, last night, the 25th, I got paid and it was only $803. Yeah. So I'm gonna need them to, to fix that expeditiously. Um, nonetheless, this week started off a bit better, right? I'm over here looking back at my loads and stuff that I've taken. Um, but yeah, so I started off this week, you know, Sunday was chill. Monday was chill, you know. It's been, I haven't really had any breakdown problems, mechanical breakdown problems. Well, actually, let me not lie to y'all. So yesterday, right, I get a load and that load was supposed to be going from Estelle to Lewisburg, Tennessee. And I like traveling in Tennessee. I like the little roads and the little welcome to Tennessee sign and all the cuteness. I, li I like Tennessee. Tennessee is, I, I like it. It's one of my list of favorite states to go to, right? So I was excited to go on my little load to Tennessee and the trailer had issues. So I pull out from the yard, right? I dropped off another load that they had me doing. I did a, a cross town. So I did the cross town and then I stayed, I stayed in the yard to go wait till they pulled my box off the, the, um, the train, loaded it, and then, you know, put it to the side in a little, um, track side section so I could hook under it and get going so I do that and in the yard it looks like it's pulling fine because you can't go but 20 miles an hour on the rail yard right so I'm sitting there you know everything looks normal and then I outgate get like to the light I want to say because I was heading to, um, I had to get gas, I had to get fuel, I was about to say gas. I had to get fuel, so I was going to head to the Petro um, in Atlanta off of Donnelly Holloway, right? And then I look out my passenger side mirror, and I'm like, I know I saw my mirrors, why, why, look, why is it looking crazy over there? The trailer was tracking. So it was pulling to one side. Like, even though I know I'm driving straight, right? I know I'm driving straight. The wheel is straight the tractor part is straight the trailer is not so when I look at my driver's side mirror I don't see like you're supposed to see straight down you know the side of the trailer on the driver's side from front end to back end you're supposed to see the tail end of the trailer on both sides I didn't I only saw like maybe a corner on this side and then on that side was the whole goddamn trailer like going veering off into the lane over there so i'm like yo i'm not tripping like this is what the heck i know it's not me 
because I'm sitting there trying to fix my steering thinking that I'm like okay I might be off or something but no like it was just heavily like tracking the trailer so I call um I call safety and they're like um well I call roadside and they're like yeah um it sounds like you know it, it it is tracking so just go ahead and try and if you haven't gotten too far yet like you haven't started your drive to tennessee pull it into a terminal and you know let them look at it and they can get you sorted and then you can get rolling right so i was like okay this should be a quick fix i know for shit sure i was not going to go to palmetto because that was just too far out the way and then they'd be dragging their asses in the maintenance shop down there at palmetto like i don't like that I do not like that. I didn't have time to sit there and waste. I already had my 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 introduction to how breakdowns go on this account in general with their janky ass equipment that they be giving people. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna put myself in that situation. Palmetto was a no. Forest Park was gonna be where I go. And plus, it was closer because I was going to the Petro in Atlanta anyway. So pull into the, I go very, very slow, have my hazards on, pull into the Petro, get my fuel get um you know my little snacks my coffee for the morning and then get back in my truck and go to the forest park uh terminal pull in there go to the shop uh write up the ticket for my truck so they know like what's wrong with the trailer and then they could come look at it i park because they were like yeah just go park over to the side i really need to fix this it's getting on my nerves but they were like, yeah, just pull it over to the side and, you know, someone will be over there when we're ready for you. It was one o'clock when I pulled in the trailer, right? One o'clock. <sighs> Two hours go by and I'm like, okay, maybe, let you know, they might be ready for me. Let me call and check right because i saw the yard people rolling by doing their thing like pulling trailers and stuff and, and doing what they do why the heck i get on the phone with this lady and she's like yeah there's 29 people ahead of you 29 yeah y'all oh my gosh these people have me messed up so i called my manager let him know what was going on and thankfully the load didn't have to be delivered until next day um at seven yeah next day at seven so today the 26th at 7 p.m that ain't happened i'm gonna tell you that right now okay newsflash didn't happen so i waste the whole day waiting on them because they did not pull me in yesterday right so I sat there the whole night and the morning time comes, I give them a call first thing in the morning. I'm like, Hey, um, are you guys like, is it possible for me to like pull it in or like, are you guys ready? Like what's going on? I need to update. The lady was like, Oh yeah. Um, well they just got here. So I guess you could pull it into like this bay over here. So I go pull it in this man he's like oh well yeah um well we'll take a look at it i was like okay yeah um that's i I, can't, I would hope that's what you would do is look at it so i get in my truck i'm waiting an hour and a half goes by no one comes up to my window nothing so i'm like okay um let me go ahead and hop out and check and see because I know it don't they take that dong on long to try and like figure out what's going on. They should have came and told me something. So I go, I find the man that I was talking to and I was looking at the, the, the trailer. He was like, oh yeah, uh, we can't fix it. I'm like, what do you mean you can't fix it? He was like, yeah, uh, so we just can't, like we can't, we can't fix it. It's not like a problem with uh the, the the chassis it's uh how it's loaded so you can't like you're gonna have to like drive with it like that and i'm like i'm not driving that trailer nowhere like that like it was pulling all in people's like a, a whole ass other lane other than the one i was in like it, it just 
wanted to do its own thing. I'm not driving. I'm not going to make it all the way to freaking Tennessee with it doing that. And then you're going to sit there and try and tell me, oh, yeah, you're fine. Just drive it like that. No. The, ooh. No. So I call my manager and I let him know. And he's like, uh, yeah, uh, I'll, do, I'll get with the planners and um, just, just hold tight right there. I was like, okay. So he hits me back like 30 minutes later on OBC and they pulled the load. So they put another load on me, right? I unhooked the trailer that I was on that they, they took me off of that load that was loaded and they were like, oh, we can't fix this. I dropped that trailer, right? I dropped it in the spot that I was in. And then they were like, oh, go find um, go find an empty. And then take that to the load. Take that to the load. And then, you know, do do the do. Like, make, make the, the delivery or whatever. And the load that they had given me and dispatched me on was going to South Carolina. So I unhook from that old one, go around the yard, and try and find an empty. Um, the first one that I picked up, they were like, oh, well, we can't put you on this one because it's showing that it has a mechanical down. You're going to have to either call safety or go into the office of the shop and like see if they can change the status if you said it was fine because it was fine. Like I looked over the trailer. I didn't see anything wrong with it. The tires were good. The, the like ev everything was good. All the things connected, all the lights turned on the trailer. There was no like visible anything the doors open and close as they should so i was confused as like why it was like down Ooh, I could fix that again it's sliding back but so i go in the shop and she was like oh yeah um so that one had like some it was written up because it had something wrong with like the floor i was like okay but i looked on the, the the floor like I looked I got inside physically got inside the trailer and I looked and there was nothing wrong with it like and she was like oh well that's what they said and then she just kind of like shooed me off basically so that lady wasn't trying to help at all in the slightest right so I'm just like mm, it's too early for this I haven't had my coffee nothing I'm not about to play with you people so I go back out right and then I'm like you know what I'm just gonna keep driving around the yard and I'm gonna see if I can find me an empty. But I'm not gonna back it up the space. I'm just gonna call the shop and tell them the number so that way they can tell me if something is wrong with it in the system or not. So I go to two, three, four, five trailers. Same thing. Same thing. And at this point, this lady's getting an attitude with me. Like, because I'm not wanting to drag the trailer out of its space unnecessarily just for y'all to come up to the shop or just for me to come up to the shop and y'all tell me, oh yeah, I can't take this one. Go put it back. And then I have to like, no, I'm not wasting my clock when I have a load that I'm supposed to be going to get. I'm not wasting my clock for y'all. So you about to answer this phone and act like you have some sense and not be rude and do your job. So get to I think the sixth or seventh trailer I give her the number because it's the same lady that keeps answering the phone so give her the, the the sixth or seventh trailer number and she's like oh there's nothing wrong with that one and I was like okay well just in case if there is something wrong with that one can you check out this number she was like well there's nothing wrong with it it's not showing anything wrong in my system I'm like oh girl your attitude is disgusting Fix it, Jesus. Uh, ew. Ew. So anyway, I'm just like, okay, well, can you check it, please? And she was like, there's something wrong with that one. On the second one that I had told her after, um, after the first one that she said was fine, right? And I suspect that she didn't even type that one in because I didn't hear the little click-clack thingies on the on the keyboard so I think she just didn't type it in she was just being rude because she didn't want to be bothered right so I'm like okay hung up hung up the phone on me right 
I go, I look around the trailer. There was something wrong with the door. The door would not open. They had it like tied shut. And when I like untied it, like I realized that's why they had it tied. Like the, the, the door wouldn't, it wouldn't close. So I obviously I can't take a trailer like that because how am I going to go down the road driving with the trailer when the door can't close? Like that's a ticket waiting to happen. So I call back and I'm like, okay, what about this number? And I call, I, I gave her another number of, a, of an empty, right? And she was like, what was wrong with the other trailer? That was fine. And I was like, it had something wrong with the door. The door couldn't open. And then there looked like there was something wrong with like the bottom of one of the tires. And she was like, well, it's showing it's fine. I'm like, can you just look up the number, please? Like I'm getting about tired of your damn attitude. I didn't tell her that, but like, that's what I was thinking in my head. Like I'm getting real about damn tired of your attitude. Like just type in the six digit number for the empty and see if, and then here she go, it's fine. And then hangs up the phone. I'm like, oh, lady, it's too early for your nonsense. Fix it. So <laughs> I go. I already checked it out. Everything was good. Wheels are great. Chassis was great. Lights worked. Uh, landing gear was great. Everything was great on that trailer. So I hook up to that one. Send the um, the trailer and the container and a chassis number to the uh, through the OBC to um, the fleet manager and let them attach it to me so I could get out the gate with the empty. And then I look at the time, by the time that all of this is done, like trying to look around the yard and search for an empty, right? I'm looking around, or more so, I look at the time, and it's like 11 something, 11.30, I think it was, this morning. And the load, the window that they gave me for this load was from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. They dispatched me on the load after they took off the other one at like 10.30. So I spent a whole hour around this yard going back and forth with that lady at the shop trying to find an empty so that way I can go, you know, take that empty and deadhead to um, the, the um, to Aiken, South Carolina, right? So I was telling them because I was like, dang, I know there's no way like it's saying it's three hours away there's no way it's gonna be i'm not even gonna set myself up to be like yeah it's gonna be perfect traffic i can make it here in this time this that third because you're not about to give me a service failure that's what we're not gonna do so i called and i was like yeah um i'll be honest with y'all like it's not looking like i'm gonna make that 2 p.m cutoff time so is there like another load or a cross town or something that like i can get that i can do this or reschedule this one or something like what are my options here and they were like oh yeah um just sit tight there at the yard uh in forest park and we'll get with the planners and we'll figure out something for you why the hell it passed what it was 11 30 when i sent that message so 12 30 1 30 hours roughly because it, it it was i was on the road by 3 30 so roughly three hours went by, right? I didn't hear not a goddamn thing from nobody. No planners, no nothing. My uh, fleet manager, nothing. I heard nothing from nobody. And I kept, mind you, I kept reaching out. I sent them several messages over the, the duration of these three hours saying, hey, um, have you heard anything back from the planners? Have you gotten anything like X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. Like I'm trying to check all my bases to make sure I'm staying on them because Y'all are a bit lazy for my liking, okay? A bit lazy. You only have three terminals and like four rail yards. There's no reason to be lazy. No reason, okay? No reason. Like, what are you doing if you're not dispatching people? Running your mouth in office, talking to people instead of dispatching and doing your job. Anyway, so I'm just sitting here. Uh, I finally.
only hear back from somebody, right? And now I finally hear back, and they're like, "Oh, um, are you still waiting on a load?" Yes, I'm still waiting on a load because I haven't heard from anybody at all, and I've reached out several times, and I still have got nothing. So then they're like, "Oh, okay, we'll, we'll get right on it." My manager hits me back after that message and it's like, uh, yeah, can you please just run this load? They said they're gonna take it. Mind you, the window was from 6 to 2 p.m. Y'all remember the first time I told you, he said, oh yeah, they'll take it. I got there, that bitch was closed. Same shit happened again today. Oh, they'll take it. It's already after, well after 2 p.m. at this point. By the time that that message was sent, it was like 3, right? So it's a whole hour after the appointment time, right? And I don't know, like, what he thought was going on because they could see our location. So I don't know how he thought, like, that was going to go down. But I drive, get to South Carolina, go through there's nobody there in that warehouse like everybody done up and left it was a ghost up in that bitch like i was the only person there with my little truck looking crazy and so i call because ooh, child i done said several colorful words while just before waiting to, like to mm -mm, i had to gather myself real quick because i told i there was no way i was going to make that that's why i was trying to to get something figured out like come on now do better because i already first saw that happening and i should have just told him when he was like oh you can make it. i should have just been like no like i should have insisted on like okay just give me something else because i know that's not gonna work but no me being a recurring people pleaser i'm like okay i'll take the load i'll go down there da -da 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 -da. maybe it'll be different it was not different so I call because my manager done left for the day already. I call and get somebody else on the line and they're like, oh yeah, um, well the appointment time was 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and it's like five, almost six o'clock now. So yeah, they definitely did leave, but you can like go find somewhere to shut down for the day and you could just like come back in the morning and uh, deliver it. And I was like, yeah, I know that. I tried to tell my driver manager that, and he was like, oh, no, they'll take it. Yeah, take it. My Ooh. Mm. So he was like, yeah, just give me a quick second. And then he put me on hold, and he was like, yeah, okay, you can just come back in the morning. And I was like, okay, sure, I will do that, so that brings us to where I am now at the end of this video at a pilot in Graniteville, South Carolina um just sitting shut down for the night until the morning I'm probably going to get up like I want to say 6.30 get my coffee I don't have to get fuel because I'm still well above half a tank um, for both deaf and diesel. So I don't have to, you know, fill up or anything. So in the morning, I'm gonna just get my coffee, do my little pre-trip, make sure everything is good, and then take off down the road, um, and, you know, make the delivery, and then, well, make the pickup, I should say. And then once I get that sorted, I will be on my way back down to Georgia. And that'll be my day for tomorrow, really, because tomorrow is my last day. Like, after I deliver to Fairburn, they may give me something else. They may not. They may be like, okay, well, you have this delivered. Uh, you're good to go home. Or if they have Crosstowns available, I'm going to ask them to, like, take some of those. So that way I'm getting, like you know my money made um yeah because things are moving very slow on this account and i don't appreciate it because coming from chicago chicago was fast paced like that was one thing i took for granted up there 
is the fact that they always had you moving like between their 10 12 rail yards and all the driver managers and all the drivers like they had your ass rolling like you you were out and about you were getting your money like you were making the coins okay there was no no games to be played like money was always right everything was on time and if you didn't catch something they would catch something and be like oh hey uh by the way this up third yada 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 okay get that dealt with and then you know it's over like everything is 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 copacetic right down here clearly they did not get the memo because i don't know what's what they have going on down here but i don't like it like i'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt because there's the one bad thing because i don't want to leave this company like i've been with this company for a little bit over a year now i don't really want to leave them and go somewhere else because i've had a, besides this account all of my the other two previous accounts the one in indiana and then the intermodal in chicago have been amazing to me like i never had any problems with either of those accounts like this is my first time account wise having a problem under this like under jb right so i'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt especially because there's no other like regional openings um or like over the road openings for that matter like they just don't have any accounts that are hiring right now so uh this is look i'm gonna have to write it out like I'm gonna have to write it out like I'm hoping that the money starts not looking funny in these next upcoming weeks and everything kind of like balances itself out to make it worth it because whew, child like y'all got me concerned like I knew I wasn't gonna be making that much money like as much as I was making in Chicago but y'all ain't gonna have me out here with how Atlanta rent is is taxing people just be out here damn homeless because y'all are paying freaking damn near nothing after taxes like come on now come on now get it together together gather yourselves okay congregate okay please Whew, anywho but that's it for this video i'm proud of myself that i actually managed to make it short and not just as long because i don't think unless it's like a really really like okay i can't avoid making it like a long video um i don't think i'm not going to be making like videos that are an hour and some change long like i'm going to try and keep it like short and sweet so i'm proud of myself for keeping it within my time limit that i set for myself it's the sun is setting right now actually oh it's so pretty it's like pink and orange and blue and shit with the clouds but um yeah so I, I did good on that um that was the end of my little story time rant for the past first two weeks of me being on this Atlanta intermodal regional account and how it's going um all I can say is I'm hoping that it gets better I'm hoping that it gets better hoping okay fingers crossed <laughs> that it gets better that the money starts looking right um because i mean i don't really have my eligibility date to transfer again if something like does open up because trust and believe i'm still watching those those job boards still watching those job boards but the eligibility date for me i think is end of august yeah end of august slash like somewhere in september um i think is when my eligibility to transfer again opens back up so i have to keep an eye on that so i can see if anything better comes along and you know just ride this account out until then because i do despite the problems that i've been having and like the this crazy odd things that have been happening um i i would like for this account to work out I, i'm not even gonna lie to you i would like for it to work out because it's close to home like where i'll be living it's it's not like it's not a bad commute um i can bring the truck home you know it's 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 decent the work schedule is decent um so i do want to try and make it work but you know i'm just hoping that things get better that's all i can say so yeah that's that's it for this video um well 
yeah that's it for this this story time slash rant and i am about to turn in for bed because in the morning i have to get up and go back up the road and deliver well pick up the load and then go back down to georgia so i might take you guys along with me tomorrow for that and see how that goes um or if not i'll just like see you guys in another video but i'm still like kind of micro planning the exact things that like how i want my channel to look and how i want like what things i want to post how i'm gonna like make the blogs and said blogs of the vlogs and stuff work because i'm not used to vlogging um so we'll, we'll see how that pans out but most definitely um do stay tuned i have quite a few story times that i do want to be cranking out because it was a whirlwind of stuff that happened between like my last day like the last few like last few i want to say last two months of me working in chicago um which led up to why i ended up transferring why it ended up being atlanta and not um somewhere else and like what happened in between then and you know why I kind of went ghost for a while and some of the things that happened in between and just kind of filling you guys in um update wise as to what and why like happened during that time because I most definitely did go MIA for a couple of months in that regard and just cleared my channel cleared social media like nothing is up or posted or whatever I did post like some TikToks um two weeks ago and yesterday no earlier today and then like before the one that i posted today on tiktok i had posted like two weeks prior to that when i first started going through the orientation process down here for the atlanta intermodal account so i'm trying to get back in the habit of posting and finding like my sense of normalcy uh being down here but trust and believe there's definitely a lot of stuff in the works coming that i want to post and have you guys a part of my journey all the ups downs you know arounds <laughs> uh just everything in in the, in the process you know um i want to share that with um with everybody for documentation so you guys can see like watch the growth process um but yeah it was lovely as always to do this story time um that concludes the two week stretch that has happened so far and all the craziness don't forget to like comment and subscribe um follow social media platforms instagram is underscore lee squared underscore I think there's two underscores how do you forget your <laughs> Instagram handle it'll be linked down below um, the socials so do follow those like comment subscribe and turn on your notifications so that way you guys will be notified when I do post my next video so for now that is good night and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm tired. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Watch my feet with the waves. Oh. How the hell these niggas be so fucked up when I see cats so many ways? I be pulling the string like on Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Double cup, I'm a purple haze. Oh, yeah. First day turn away, then day. Third base, so watching the braids. Evidently, I'm the one.